Hi Ben here, and what we're looking at today is going to look at how do you control your distant control. Um, very lucky here out in the ranges, I'm allowed to go, kind of go wild with my spray paint. And what I've done here is I've marked out a grid of foot intervals in between. So depending on how far you can go away, so I might stand four foot away, I've got a box at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven foot. So what I'm going to do is use it as a ladder. You can do this with T pegs as well. So put a T peg a foot, two foot, three foot depending on how big you want to make the spaces and the key to becoming a good putter is being able to control the speed because obviously speed has a massive influence on how a putt's going to break so if you can't control your speed anything with a break is suddenly become very very difficult it might be good straight up here we'll give it a whack but if you really want to become a great par and you see like the jordan speeds the reason why he's so good obviously got a good stroke but his ability to control speed is, is absolutely paramount and that obviously hooks into making sure you have got the right part to start and you're delivering the loft in the right way and the mechanics will go there but ultimately if you want to have a quick way to improve your pain or especially for the winter you can practice just one at home hitting it a little bit further but i love the kind of grid drill so you've got a real kind of definitive can i hit it in the box control the distance and that's going to have a real good impact on your pain so give this one a whirl see how you get on and let me know how you go